Hey everyone, it's Vittorio. Today I'm going to share my ESC tune. As some of you may know, I drive for Team Acuvance USA and I'm running the Acuvance Jarvis XX with all the capacitors attached to it. Each capacitor allows the car to be a lot smoother and gives you a good range of throttle feel. The two easiest ones to install are the Trace Vector and Trace. Today we'll be going over my ESC tune. The more notable one here is the drive frequency. I have it at 32 Hz as that allows for the smoothest throttle feel. If you need a little bit more punch, you would lower that number. That applies to the rest of the frequencies on this menu. If you need a little bit more power right away, you adjust the initial speed. On this side of the menu is our full boost timing, boost start rotation speed, and the boost and rotation speed. Start is the RPM when the boost comes on, and end is obviously when it ends. On the next menu, we have turbo. I have mine set at 20 degrees and I have it to start at 21,000. If you look closely, 21,000 is also when my boost ends. Turbo on and off slope is how strong the turbo comes on. This is all preference. For myself, I only want the turbo to come on during full throttle, hence why turbo activation is set at full throttle. On the top of this menu, you can reverse the motor if needed or preferred. Ideally, you would want the motor to run the right direction. This menu is only applicable to those who have a RAD or a Jarvis XX, but this is where you control the torque level. If you want less torque, you would lessen the value, and if you want more torque, you would increase the value. The torque endpoint is where the torque adjustment ends on your throttle. For example, if you have it set at plus 5 and your endpoint is at 50%, after 50%, the torque level adjustment ends. Let me know what kind of videos like this you'd like to see next in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.